the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria Man has held a media luncheon to advocate better reportage and show support to media partners. The event held in Ikeja had various media outfits in attendance, as well as members and officials of Man. Speaking at the event, President of Man, Francis Meshoye, said the association has been working rigorously to provide a conducive environment for manufacturers, investors, and businesses in Nigeria to thrive, even with the current economic challenges. Other stakeholders called on the federal government to prohibit the importation of substandard materials and promised to engage the new administration come May 2023 for better implementation of the association's agenda. Man, it's also, been, it's also been strategic in its engagement during this election year to place its issues on the front burner. You have engaged the presidential experience of the importance of having a viral and competitive manufacturing sector. You have equally pushed a different fora with major political contenders to incorporate the need to accelerate the growth and development of the manufacturing sector in the economic agenda. In this regard, we have availed all the political parties with our blueprint for the accelerated development of manufacturing in Nigeria, as well as the agenda for the manufacturing in Nigeria for the next 10 years. During my tenure as president, with the support of the Secretariat, the Association will invigorate its advocacy focus on the following mandates. One, to improve evidence-based advocacy through proactive engagement with legislators, policymakers, regulators, and other stakeholders. Manufacturing is becoming such an endangered uh, profession, if you may put it that way. And, man, and we have always said that manufacturing is not a business endeavor like every other one. It's a deliberate choice that every country has to make. There's no country in the world that has become developed, that has become prosperous, that does not have a viral manufacturing process. The services that you have have limitation in terms of the people they can engage. And no matter how sophisticated the IT sector is, you need some hardware that will be able to carry whatever it is that you are deploying. So manufacturing needs to be prioritized. And for us, it is a question that Nigeria has to make. The new administration must ensure that they do not go business as usual and they should not pay lip service to the development of the manufacturing sector.